In this video, we will discuss and demonstrate the proper procedures for the installation and operation of dust collector filter bags. For this section of the video, we will be focusing on pulse jet filter bags. When undertaking a filter bag change out, preparation is key. There are several steps that must be done to ensure the long-term success and viability of your filter bags. Prior to the installation of your filter bags, you will want to inspect the sidewalls, ceiling, and tube sheet of the dust collector. You will want to make sure these areas are clean and free of corrosion or material buildup. Another thing you'll want to check is the tube sheet holes to make sure there's no burrs or material buildup or corrosion. Finally, you will want to review the blowpipe to make sure none of the blowpipe holes have elongated as this could lead to insufficient cleaning. Once these steps are completed, we can move on to the actual installation of the filter bags. Now this step is not as simple as it seems. Many filter bags are equipped with an EPTFE membrane that is laminated to the surface of the fabric. This membrane is a very fragile product and must be handled with care. Membrane is a great product which allows for greater filtration and dust release without having a pre-coat. However, these benefits only exist when the membrane is fully intact. That is what makes the handling of membrane filter bags so vital. Because membrane is so thin, it is important to remove any sharp objects from your person or the area you will be handling the material. Even the edge of a tube sheet is enough to scratch the surface of a filter bag. That's why we provide installation sleeves to safely install filter bags while maintaining the membrane. The first step in the installation is to secure the installation sleeve in the tube sheet hole. This will create a funnel effect that will allow you to safely install the dust collector bag. Now we will feed the bag safely in there, protecting the membrane. Once this step is completed, you can remove the sleeve. All that's left now is the proper snapping in of the filter bag. That pop indicates that you have a good solid seal. Here is an alternate view of the proper installation technique. Notice the compression of the snap band when it is being installed into the cell plate. You will want to make sure that the snap band groove is perfectly aligned with the cell plate hole. A misaligned or cross snapped bag can cause opacity as well as bags falling into the hopper. Once the bags are properly installed, we can now move to the installation of the filter cages. This is a standard filter cage. However, before you install them, you will want to review the condition of your cages. This cage has bent wires, a broken wire here, and sharp edges at the bottom. You'll also want to keep a lookout for corrosion. Any of these things will cause failures in your filter bags. You should discard any cages that are not fit for service. You don't want to ruin a brand new set of filter bags by installing them with damaged cages. Now that we have ensured that the cages are fit for service and in good condition, we will demonstrate the proper installation. When installing a cage, you don't want to just drop it in. You want to gently guide it all the way to the bottom of the filter bag. 